just stress relief. Whatever that needs to be for you. Just rest into it. I'm just going to do a little bit of tracing. Just nice and slow. Just to relax you. All this is is just to relax you. Just to 
course works is I gotta believe it to see it and if you're going through a tough time of wherever you need to go or wherever you're trying to get to let's balance you and get you believing in yourself again never forget or never give up on yourself Say this again. So.
so behind that they think that their mood is the same thing as their will and the actions they should take. No, it's just the mood. Slow down. When you can take your time and give yourself a long enough time to watch something come to be, you'll learn patience. When you have to sit there and just wait day in and day out, but still work towards something, you learn patience. And what ends up happening is, once you get whatever it is you want and you had to wait that long, whenever you do something else, you will fill up that free time with other stuff instead of sitting there suffering and being upset of why it didn't happen overnight. That's not how things work. We live in such a fast information time that it almost appears that if you want something, it should happen like that. Most things aren't like that. And for good reason. They take time. They take consistency. They take structure. For example, if you're one of my returning babies, or if you like what I'm talking about, the only reason why you trust what I'm saying is because I have almost posted, I can't believe this, I have posted almost a thousand videos. Yes, I have posted almost a thousand videos. If I had two videos, I don't think that y'all would feel the same. You might like me, but I don't know if you'd feel the same. But I sat there and I was consistent. And you can go and read the comments of the different videos and see how people were reacting or have felt that the videos have helped them. That's why you feel comfortable and safe here. So, I say that to say, whatever you're building towards in life, you gotta have that much patience too because that is building the foundation. I say this to my apprentices. I let them know that 
need to support your endeavors. I'm just saying, like, you know, you gotta, you gotta think about it and trust the process. Trust the process, babies. You know, another, another thing that will humble you is school. You know, school can be long and obnoxious for no reason, but trust the process. You may not remember everything you learn. But you get a lot of valuable life skills. You learn how to study. You may not learn what you study, but you learn how to study. You learn how to network. You learn how to organize the information. There's a lot of really good things you learn from school. And that stuff is the structure of everything. Businesses, communities, fun stuff, hobbies, all of that. So connect in with that and just have faith. It will happen.
Okay.
color is, see their love as a color, and allow their love to just wrap around you, that they feel drawn towards you, regardless of where you're at. you have 
trust in your path, trust in yourself, trust in your path. Now, taking hands to heart, I want you to take a deep breath in and feel that connection to you and see them, allow their face to appear in front of you and just exhale, release, see the beauty of their energy actions, the beauty of their appearance, see all that you love, all that you appreciate right in front of you, and allow your heart to be open so that they can experience the same thing. Now, in this moment, I want you to say something very sincere, so think about it like, for example, a prayer, a chant, These are, this is different language for the same energetic concept that's happening. You just choose based off of your lineage and what you connect to, how you want to approach it. Now, inside, truly open yourself up and say what you need to say to them, to the universe. Use this moment. this moment and say what you need to say. Invite them in. Share love. Share community. Share all of these things. Invite them into the space with you. A couple more minutes. Thank you. 
yourself. That's just the reality of how things are. You have to love yourself immensely and unconditionally in order to demonstrate, reflect, and put the energy out into the universe for someone to love you in the way that you are looking to be loved. And when you do this, you will start to notice that what you want from someone else may be something that you could give yourself all along. So, we're going to bring this love to you, okay? But we just had to make sure that you are all good with understanding what love to truly value. I think we can force any type of love in our life, but that doesn't mean just because we can, we should. You may have somebody in the back of your mind, oh, I really like this person. I think we'll be great. I dare say I love this person. I just want them to like me back. Er, nope. Uh, what I want you to think about is the quality of why you like this person because nine times out of ten, we are the ones who give people the quality or we're the ones who give people the, I don't know, the specialness. Once you take your own thoughts out of it, does that person, do they still stand? Are they still the quality that you want? Do you want someone who's kind, caring, generous? Someone who stands up for what they believe in? Someone who enjoys leisure or activity? Someone who likes to travel? Someone who likes to read? Someone who likes to socialize? So, someone who likes to, you know, stay in the house? I want you to think about that. Think about also values, okay? You want someone who wants to get married? Do you want someone who doesn't want to get married? Do you want to have someone who wants to have children? Do you want to have someone who wants to only adopt children? Think about those values that you want within the right partnership. Do you want a conventional partnership? Do you want an unconventional partnership? Think about all those things. Now, what I want you to do is think about those things that you want to ask yourself questions. Okay, I'm attracted to this kind of person externally, internally. I like our dynamics, our relationship to be like X, Y, and Z. And instead of seeing this person as your other half or someone to make you whole, Think about it like this, who is someone I can enjoy life with? Who is someone that can bring a smile to my face and I can bring a smile to them? And also, who is someone that I'm not going to put baggage on them and they're not going to put baggage on me? That we don't project onto each other. The healthiest form of relationship and connection. Someone who looks at you with greatest amount of or that 
If you're ready to make those next next steps, plan a family. 
that I 